Hello everyone. So I'm gonna do a, a forest scene with, uh, I tried a, a silver birch tree. So they're very interesting to do a silver birch tree. So I feel it's more of a technique than adding detail. So I will show you my version of how I would do a, a birch tree. So just a little bit of forest. Uh, let's see how it goes. Maybe I see a snow scene. So a little bit of snow in the front. Um, plenty of trees, so So I'm just gonna put in an X mark so I know that's where there's plenty of Okay So there's It's nothing straightforward very straightforward about how uh, there's enough birch trees. Uh, I'm gonna make in a few branches, and then maybe a few branches coming on the floor, and then also there's a couple more um, birch in the background as well. So I'm gonna do a few birch trees in the background, which needs to be done. Okay. So it looks like too many lines just bear with me so I'm gonna just put in an X mark so I know which one is the tree which one is not the tree you're not the only one who's getting confused so to avoid that I know if I put in an X mark those are the things so first thing uh, you want to do is, is the water is dirty but it's all right it's a little bit of gray I'm gonna take a big mop make everything wet other than the the tree itself so fairly rough doesn't have to be very so I need to just see it at an angle just to make sure everything is wet. Okay. Okay. So while I'm at it, I'm going to just wet that surface. And we'll just do a slightly smaller brush. And that's a snow scene, so a little bit of gray. I'm just adding a little bit of random color. Let it Um, so it's already getting dry and be fairly quick okay okay so any sharp edges I'm just trying to mute the sharp edges so there's a couple of sharp edges over here when I say mute I'm just trying to make sure Everything is smooth. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Uh, a little bit of snow. Over right here. And that's about um, what we're going to do. So at this stage, just a couple more times, you know. 
try that. Okay, now I'm going to do the opposite of a burnt sienna and there's some raw amber, fairly muted. So I'm going to use one of the light source. In this case, I'm going to say lights coming from here or uh, coming from... So I'm just going to do is... That one is a little, little too dark for me, so okay. So what I want is a little more software edges, so I'm gonna just wet the trunks before I'm gonna just wet the trunks. Okay, and then continue with uh, burnt sienna and raw amber. So that's a light source, so I'm just darkening the other side a little more. Okay, so doing great, just continue. Okay, I'm going to switch to a slightly smaller brush. And I'm going to add a little bit of raw amber. Then a little bit of blue, ultramarine blue. So, so create some random box. Try not to be symmetric. Add a little more gray. So continue the pattern. So I'm just going from left to right. So I'm going to leave that tree.
So continue adding. So a little, a little variation in the tree. So it's just a process of developing the shapes. Okay, I'm gonna add a lot of uh, darker tones while the paint is still a little wet. It looks like it's not. So a little bit of branches. It's a forest, so um, slowly building. Some branches. That's fine. So I'm going to just add a little more interest in somewhere, a few places, just to add a little more depth in the bottom, in the background. Makes the tree stand out a little bit. Soften the edges. Okay, so I'm going to just come in with a little more finer details of just a few more branches. Um, closer. I 
add a strong outline. So that it just stands out a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that one looks too, it's the same tone. I'm gonna just add a little more darker tones. Okay. Okay. So the snow in the front. So some stuff going on. So that's a very quick forest scene. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me just dry and then uh Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little more. Um, I think that one looks too. Needs to be a little more. Back. I will align it on the camera. It moves. I'll make sure I check the camera. Okay, let me just check the camera. Camera's actually all right. The painting. Yep. So it's a very quick one brush, two brush uh, painting, but it just gives you uh, an idea how watercolor can be exploited to just to get that depth and just the front layer. Just by adding darker shapes, you can make the surrounding look lighter. And if you want to make something lighter, just make it a lot darker on the other side. So it's just instead of trying to add highlights, you're trying to add the opposite. So, but it's a fantastic medium. And then this is again, one of the examples. Uh, it's, it's worthwhile trying. You can play around, do different things. 
add a person, a little more element, a house, but this is a fundamental blocks to add a good composition. So you want to have some sort of idea of how to do a forest, a little bit of uh, um, background and playing with uh, negative shapes. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, help me out. And until next time, keep water growing and bye.